this is a I think it's what do you call it D'Angio pear I don't know I guess that's what you call it anyway it's just full full of blossoms and this is the first year after living here 13 years that this little guy has put out a show like this it's a pretty old tree but it never never gave us any last year it had a few but they were all buggy so hopefully this year they'll be fine and this big tree is another pear tree has I don't know what kind they are has these green pears and they are delicious for canning I can them and just delicious and it's full it's just full of flowers it's no leaves practically just flowers now go up close and show you whoops fell on a hole And those are pear flowers. And I think we're going to have lots of them. And this is another apple tree. And I cut a big chunk out of it. When we moved here 13 years ago, it was topped. Topped off and it was just... I didn't, I didn't take care of it. I was, it's always had buggy fruit and... I don't know. I'm going to hang hang uh, bottles of uh, vinegar and um, vinegar, what is it? Vinegar and molasses in water. And supposedly vinegar, molasses and water. I'm going to hang these bottles out and supposedly it traps the bugs. You know, good bugs. We'll see. And I've got one apricot blossom left. They're done. Um, lilacs. The lilacs are coming. This is what, April 8th. Oh, they smell so good. Can you smell them? Mmm. I'll give you a picture of the, the plants I've got. Well, these are, oh, what are these? Currants? I think they're currants. So we're going to have some currants this year. The plant looks really happy. Can't wait to put the wood chips around it. And here's some tulips. Some pretty tulips, red ones. And there's a real pretty one. Pink one. And here's some yellow and red tulips. 